And uh, perhaps the most important prediction of 2023, chat. Uh, to adequately say this prediction, I cannot merely repeat myself. I must play my actual words so that they can be heard, chat. Let's take a listen. Wait, this is not it. This is the wrong clip. This is out of order. And I had to play it, then spoil it, because if it was just the Pornhub logo, some of you would say negative things, and I cannot have that. <laughs> um, okay, hold up. It's in, it's in my... Uh, it's in my thread somewhere. Ah, the Sneeds posted it. Sneeds posted it. I'll get back to the Pornhub video in a second. Give me a... Anime is the root of this. Is... Okay, pay pay close attention to the Josh of Christmas Past chat. Anime is the root of this as well. He's probably watching some weird wife swapping anime, and it's giving him ideas. Just stop, please. Oh, and the Baldo, him trying to get a spot. He said that he fucked his wife with a dildo that you wear on your testicles. It's the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard. It's the most retarded. I think um. And Ominous said it. He said it's like the most low-cal sex toy ever. Like, who the fuck sees a, a pretty woman and says, I want to bash my balls into her ass. I want to fuck her with my scrot. Like, are you nuts? Are you nuts? I get that it's a joke, but please stop. Nobody wants to hear this. This is a funny thing for Ron Jeremy and Washed Up Porn Stars to talk about on, like, some sex podcast. You are supposed to be presentable to the public. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. So 2023, I see Nick Ricada quitting anime, returning to church, not going to Hedonism 3, and not doing any more interracial life swapping. Because um, I am the unmoved mover. If I wish it into existence, it will happen. It's happening right now. Okay. It's happening. I'm willing it into... I'm like Samson. I got chains on me, and I'm pulling it down. I'm making it happen. Fuck off. Such is life, chat. Such is life. Sometimes, chat, you are wrong. Well, let's be clear. My, th my prediction came in threes, uh, or four, technically. One, Rikeda would swear off anime. Two, Rikeda would return to church and fear God. Three, Ricardo would not go to Hedonism 3, and 3B, he would not have interracial wife swapping any further. Um, oh boy, where to even begin? So to put this in the context, we have to go back to the, the, the Pornhub video. Uh, this is Ricardo and the next series. I believe, and he's having his random cosplay thoughts step on him for pictures, and I consider this so embarrassing, so secondhand humiliating, and so degrading to his mind that it really upset me, and I really wanted to be, for him to stop doing this. They should kick your knees or something. No, no, I don't. The funniest part is when So this is what's going on with this shit. So uh, I, I'm. I watched the clips, however, I'm not 100% up to date with Ricada News. From what I understand, I only got one of my wishes. Um, his, he seems done with anime stuff. It, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe there's something anime he still talks about, but it really seems like he j now just admits that he was only into anime for the Vic Mignogna stuff and to make money off the weebs. And he doesn't really seem to have any interest in anime as like a thing for real. Uh, he 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 tried to hook up with. Um, and I'm, I'm I'm gonna get some details of this wrong, but in, I'm gonna try to summarize it vaguely uh, instead of naming names. The, he was interested in connecting with some VTubers um, to. I don't know, just bolster his stream, get some more people watching his streams and stuff. So because he had had success with Vic Mignogna, 
he wanted to talk to uh, popular VTubers. And he reached out to more than one VTuber from the Phase Connect network. And not only did he reach out, but he reached out with um, Kumalot, who was like his his number two, who was like a genuine like like goon brained retard with holes in his head. Uh, and they did something like really inappropriate. I think what the the main conflict was is that <clears throat> the they started pretending that they were dating in real life like the vtubers were having like an in real life sexual relationship with these uh with with kumalot and this was this was like so damaging like it was weird because they invited them on as friends and then they started saying this stuff without their permission and posting pictures and, and pretending that they were like in bed together and stuff and not only was this like really inappropriate just on like a person to person level Obviously, the VTubers make their money by pretending to be single so that people think they have a chance and will super chat for attention. So uh, these these rumors that they were circulating, because they did show up on this guy's stream, uh, which gave some some credence to them, you know, to him saying that they were together, uh, that, that jeopardizes her bottom line because that's how she makes her money. So this really upset the, the streamers. And then because they had done this to, to people on this uh, phase connect. No, Kumalot, his name is Camelot, but he's like Riketa's uh, friend. He shows up on live stream all the time. He's not a VTuber. Uh, so the the phase, basically there was like a like a thing where like the phase connect streamers stopped communicating um, with Riketa and his people because it had caused problems and they don't want problems. And so the studio said, don't, don't stream with these guys. They're bad news. And then when then the word got out that, you know, the VTubers wouldn't be showing up on Riketa's stream anymore. He basically started shit talking the girls and saying like, you know, that they're, that they're shitty anyways, and that they should leave their network so that they can stream with them. Like just really being like really, inappropriate from a from a person to person perspective and inappropriate in like a, a professional point of view uh and since then because all the when this happened all the weebs started fucking with Riketa and his people and in, in camelot and i think from that point on Riketa dropped the whole anime facade and and because he pissed off all the weeaboos anyways he just said fuck it i'm not going to pretend to be a weeaboo anymore and from what i understand he's not <clears throat> he's not trying to like um what's the word pander he's not trying to pander to the weeaboos anymore so the the whole i i, I kind of got my wish and that he stopped doing the anime shit but you know what he replaced anime with like hardcore perpetual alcoholism maybe it's not even what i just said with the phase connect drama i think it was like they uh he just started drinking so much he didn't have the attention span to watch anime anymore so he just got over it <laughs> you know what i mean so it was that, and I, I kind of wanted to show you, like, this is a thumbnail of Riketa from his OP, and I think that the, the OP was, like, recently edited in, like, 2022, so you can see in here, like, how young he looks, his, like, skin is in good condition, um, his hair is, is recently cut and shit, and then we can go to, uh, like, Elysiclus, and we can just pick, like, literally any recent video of him. Um, and he just looks fucking awful. Like, just look at how fucking old he looks. He looks so old. Like, just compare him, like, here. This isn't even him at his worst, because he's not, like, completely drunk here. He just looks so aged up, and his eyes are all fucked up and shit. It's really crazy comparing him to even just a couple years ago. Um, there is a specific... Aha! Here, how, okay, how about this? Let's compare him to this. See how bad, uh, this is him properly fucked up. You can see how awful he looks in this. Watch what he does in this. A goddamn bullet. If you haven't married someone like that, what are you doing with your life? Do you notice anything about that? Let's do, let's do an instant replay of this. We'll pay special attention, chat. A goddamn bullet. If you haven't married someone like that, what are you doing with your life? There's no alcohol left in this class. T says, "Nick." Okay, now that now that you know the secret, one more time. A goddamn bullet. 
the glass is completely empty. If you haven't married someone There's like that, a single what do you drop do left. Like? There's literally not even a drop, and he really, really tries to get a single like milliliter of alcohol out of that glass. It's just, it's just dry. It's bone dry. Um. So he definitely did not become a church man, a church going man of God. Um, I don't think he did go to hedonism three. However, I can't really say that I predicted that he did not go to hedonism three because it seems like what he's done instead is make hedonism three a perpetual state of being. Um, it really sounds like he's into the whole swinging community now. He has these weird new stories about going out to clubs and having old people hit on him. Uh, and shit, and it's just like I, I don't know. It's it's so gross, and he he is continually streaming from this fucking kitchen, like or from his hot tub, and it's just like uh, anytime anytime he's like he's fucked up after his stream, he's in the kitchen, he's like sloppily eating food. Um, despite this being like the paid for content for his local streams, like his after show, like one on one for his, his users, um, he's just like eating into the microphone constantly and just being a gross degenerate. He just it, every every video where he's in this um, kitchen and eating like whatever leftovers his wife has left out for him, like a fucking dog. It reminds me of that video of. Um, It's the guy eating the burger. I remember when I was like young, there was a re really famous celebrity clip of, um, was it David Hasselhoff? He's like eating Burger King off the floor of a hotel room with his shirt off because he's so fucked up. And his like daughter recorded this to try and show him how, how gross he was. And uh, it got leaked out somehow. And that became a, a new circuit thing. But that's like Rakeda every night now. It's like every night he's just recording himself eating Burger King off the floor in his gross ass kitchen. And it really feels like his 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 relationship with his wife has deteriorated because his kitchen's always in disrepair and he's always just eating random shit out of the fridge. He's up at weird times every day. Uh, he's drunk perpetually. He's telling stories about how he's like wasted d driving under you know DUI with his daughter in the car, or driving off the road on his Mustang with his daughter in the car. And it's just like, there's no way that this is a functional relationship. There's no way that they're still together, and he's doing this shit. And there's no way that they're that she's like in love with him and allowing him to drink himself to death like this. There's just no fucking way. And then he complains that people have like a. a a misconception about how he how his life is and it's like there's no way to form any other opinion he says like well guys you like see like a microcosm you just see like one like one percent of somebody's life and then you like assume the other 99 percent off off of that and it's like yeah retard that's how it works that's pattern recognition. That's like, like that's how the human brain works. There's literally, it would be illogical to see somebody who was like a drunk, wasted loser, you know, every time he's on live stream, and then just assume, oh, he's probably fine off of stream. Off of stream, I'm sure he's like picking daisies and is completely sober and probably has a nice vegetable garden in his backyard. Like, there's zero reason to assume that about you. Um, so I, I don't know, man. It's really painful because I. I I um I thought it was so nice that Rikeda was like a streamer and successful and religious with like a bunch of kids and a long, like a 20-year-old Reno you know, marriage because it's it shows people especially right now that there are still like traditional families and normal people out there and it, it makes it so that like the you know the old 50 style stay-at-home mom structure uh, exists and it, it's a it's achievable in the current year and it's not it's not a bygone era and then he fucks it all up <laughs> you know he like fucks it all up and 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 makes his his relationship like this public display that everyone speculates about and people think his wife gets fucked by black men and it's just like it's so disappointing it's so disappointing to me um that he would do this and he would, and it's not, it's not to be clear. It's not because I personally am like dissuaded or negatively impacted by, uh, his presentation. 
but I know other people are. I know that when you have thousands and thousands of people watching you who are you know heavily engaged in your community, who are heavily involved in your live streams every single day watching your content, I know that subconsciously, whether they like it or not, it plants in them this idea that every marriage after so, so many years is doomed to fail. It's doomed to become an open relationship. You're doomed to have marital issues. You're doomed to be, to become Kevin Spacey. You know, it's it's and it's not true. And uh, I I had hoped for better from him. So I don't know. I don't know what to expect for for Rakeda because my my instinct is very negative. But I find it difficult to to sit here and say, for 2024, I believe that Ricardo will be divorced and he will be shot in the back of the head by a gay Nazi. You know, <laughs> I don't want to say that. Um, actually, you know what? Fuck it. 2024, Nicholas Ricardo will be shot in the back of the head by a gay Nazi and uh, lock it in. That's my prediction. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.